And so now I'm going to demonstrate using storage replica over an RDMA connection. And this actual connection is going to be going 31 miles. That's a 50 kilometer, 50 kilometer round trip. So before I begin, I'm just going to show you my disk speed command. Disk speed is a free download. It generates a synthetic workload. I'm going to point it to my R drive here on this server. Go ahead and get that running. And I'm going to come over here to my performance counter, which is the disk transfers per second, or IOPS disk counter. And that was time compressed just to spare you having to watch this thing run. Now I'm going to go ahead and set up replication using the exact same drive. You can see it right there is the R drive. And so when this is done, the next time I run disk speed, every I.O. will have to go 50 kilometers all the way to the server for 25 and all the way back for 25. This server right here, you can see replication has just begun. After I set it up, I'm going to take a look and you can see the preparation steps entered here in the event log. And you can see the progress starting of block copy. That's the initial sync copy. If we go over here to the operational log, we'll see that it's already done. About uh, 24 seconds. Pretty fast. It's a 32 gig drive. If I run GetSR group, I can show you that we're replicating synchronously. And I can show you with getSRgroup.replicas that we are working on the R drive. There it is. Okay. So now let's take that exact same disk speed command and this time push it on my replicated volume and see how much overhead that gets incurred taking this giant trip. Remember this is technical preview too, so this is a little bit older version right now. And uh, once I get to it, I'm going to do a little bit more time compression. You can see here it's about 53,000 IOPS as opposed to 63,000 IOPS, which means that we're hitting about 15% off the top. In order to protect ourselves, we're only taking a 15% hit here in Tech Preview 2.